Um, all right. What I think about this game, my little review, I'm probably not going to say a heck of a lot. Um, it is very GoldenEye-ish, uh, which makes sense because this game is made by the same people who made GoldenEye and Perfect Dark. So if you loved those games and just like eat them all up and can't get enough of them, then the Time Splitters series is for you. These games are just like them. And, you know, um, they're pretty good games. Uh, but I won't lie, it did bore me at times. Um, some of the levels look really generic looking. They kind of look bland from a, a visual point of view. Graphics wise, like I guess it looks okay for a PS2 game, but I'm playing this on the Xbox and let's face it, um, Chronicles of Riddick and the Halo series look so much better than this game. And those are contemporary games, so I'm not like doing an unfair comparison there. Visually, it doesn't look all that great. It kind of has like an anime look to the game. Um, which is interesting because it is a Western developer. Uh, former Rare, like Rare, was actually based in the UK. Um, from a gameplay point of view, the shooting is okay, but the controls are weird. You know, it has that old GoldenEye feel to it, which I feel is archaic by, by these standards, by the time that this game came out. It was a little little wonky, so it, it relies heavily on the auto-aim. You're actually better off just not aiming, you know. You, you can pull a button and aim a little bit. Uh, you're better off not doing that and just firing from the hip. Uh, the shooting, though, is, is solid. It's satisfying to see enemies, like, fly and twist and contort after you kill them. There's not a single drop of blood in this game, which is uh, interesting. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I mean, if you're shooting enemies, you want to see blood. It just makes sense. Um, the level design's a bit obtuse. I mean, there's some good levels. Don't get me wrong, there are some good levels. And the mission, the mission-based gameplay can be fun, but too often, there'll be some obtuse mission objective that's so esoteric and so hard to figure out that no one in their right mind would ever figure it out without a guide, like that Wild West level. Um, you have to shoot behind the girl in the cell to break her out because there's something explosive back there, but you can't see it. How are you supposed to know that? And I was stuck on that level for way too long um, when it was never intuitive to figure out what you're supposed to do. And of course that uh, Aztec Lost Ruins type level uh, was too labyrinthian, uh, too confusing, and overall just crappy. But with that said, there are some good levels in this game. Uh, with decent level design and, and uh, pretty decent objectives. I like the the diffuse, the, the time bomb level. Um, that was pretty intense, you know. And that wasn't too obtuse, you know. You were always on a time limit, but you know, you could figure out where most of the bombs were on your own, and it wasn't too bad even if you did die. Uh, that's another thing. This game has a weird checkpoint system that I don't like. You only get one checkpoint per level, and, like, it, that sucks. Like, if you die, and if you don't have a lot of health by the time of the checkpoint, when you restart at the checkpoint, that's all the life you get. And there's no way to recover your life. You can get armor, but you can't recover your life in this game, which is pretty stupid um, so you kind of incentivize just to play the game on easy um, even though there's normal and hard but that is another thing for this game um, because normal and hard modes they don't just make the game harder they add replayability um, by giving you more objectives so if you love this game then you're incentivized to keep playing it so I know a lot of people are saying the game is short but if you think about it you know, this game actually incentivizes you to replay the levels at a harder difficulty. Because there's now, you can now experience the same levels uh, in a new way because you're doing more things and you're going to new areas and stuff like that. So I can see, you know, someone who really loves this game playing it again and again and really eating it all up. Um, I think there's a multiplayer component to it, but obviously I can't comment on that. Um, yeah, there were three games to this series. Uh, after the Time Splitter series, I believe that the, the developer is Free Radical. They made uh, the game Haze for the PlayStation 3, and unfortunately, uh, that was a complete bomb. The game was unfinished when they released it. Uh, it was critically panned, and they got a 
it, the game sort sold terribly despite a huge advertising campaign. Like I remember at the time, they posted advertising on every video game website, um, and they sank a lot of money into that game. And since it was a failure, that meant the end of Free Radical. And as a direct result, that was the end of Time Splitters as well. So it was, you know, very sad for Time Splitters fans, and uh, I feel for them. Uh, but before I end, I do want to comment on the story. There is no damn story. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, that's another thing before I, I end up. Uh, the game does have a decent amount of variety in terms of level themes because you're traveling through time, and that is cool. So there's lots of, you know, you get variety in that way, you know, going through different times and also different uh, settings. So, you know, it, it does kind of keep things interesting by spicing it up like that. You know, everything doesn't look exactly the same, even though... What it does have is a bit bland and generic sometimes, you know? Um, so... But the story is, like, as far as I can tell, non-existent. Like, does anyone understand what the story of this game is? Like, we saw something in the beginning with these two people, a sexy girl with her pants, like, <laughs> basically cut off at the side. I'm not really sure how that improves her combat efficacy, but uh, it cer certainly improves her sex appeal. Um, and then she she dies at the end of the game. Okay, well, <laughs> what was the story? What was this game even about? I don't know. In any case, it's an okay game, but um, I prefer Halo, if I'm totally honest. So that's my review.